Thomas, any plans for today? We'll go out there and have fun, hang with the lead group on the climb if I can, and then have some fun on the downhill. That's right. <laughs> ride out to the village and then it's just every man for himself anything can happen here it's just a crazy adventure for sure getting up there in elevation We climb up to around 10,000 feet. Back home, you have a lot of purpose-built trails. These are not purpose-built at all, but they're absolutely some of the best. Just ripping fun. Super steep, super narrow. It really has to keep you focused the whole time. They start off sunny for once, and then it starts to rain. This race was so hard on everybody because it kept raining every single day. And it's just absolutely miserable. Now you're really trucking. Some of the riders caught some hail, we caught rain. Yeah, it's just a, a really tough day on the bike. I think we go that way. Yep. You got it. Sprint it out for the finish. We're motoring along, just completely soaked. Yeah, Snickers. Ah. The biggest hurdle in this event this year was definitely the weather. It's just really tough. It's not really indicative of this event. In the last two editions that I've done, everything was just bone dry and dusty. And you know, you finish the stage and you knock the dust off and you're good to go. This year was completely different. The other struggle of this event is trying to keep stuff dry. And that's why this place looks like the laundry store exploded. Everybody's trying to catch up on drying out dirty, stinky clothes that they've attempted to wash. Myself included, I have my own clothesline, which is a week's worth of them. Total nonsense. Adi Chirpa, Julian, Thomas. Three, two, one, go! started off coming down the roads and then started cruising. Huge climb at the start. The distance doesn't seem like a whole lot since you have so much climbing and just slow going. And then it caught a couple riders. You get to the top, still some super big climbs. 
temperatures are up into the 90s, you're always up to pretty high elevation, you're around 7,000 feet. gradual climb from the next 20 kilometers to the finish. Now that was a fun stage, pretty awesome day. at the very last stage. Super fun, almost half track to donkey trails that are just wide enough for a donkey and not a donkey and a rider. Just a conga line of donkeys, you know, non-stop. You think you got a gap and you go around the corner and you hit a donkey wall. climbed up. And I bridged up to the lead group. Lots of little sheep and goat farms are cruising through. Caught one of the leaders. Next thing I know, ground gave way and my front wheel washed out and I just wound up going off this cliff. And there was nothing to do to stop. 